Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today. We got a special interview with Louis André, uh, runner-up in this year's Vassal World Cup with a pretty dominant performance throughout. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Louis, how are you? Oh, uh, I'm going fine, thanks. Good, thanks for good. having me. Yeah, my <laughs> pleasure. Thanks for taking your time to, to sit down and have a little chat. Um, right. <laughs> it's uh, great to have you. I want to go over uh, you know, a few questions and you know, we'll see where the conversation goes. Um, but uh, your fleet was one of you know, the more interesting ones. Uh, you know, when I was going through all the Swiss, like the, or excuse me, before Swiss, when they came out with the pods and showed everyone's list, mm -hmm. yours was one that caught my eye. And something that I want to touch on right away uh, for everyone watching, mm -hmm. we've got Louis' list right here, and we'll go through that a little bit in a second. But I noticed the name of your list, um, 3.0. <laughs> uh, tell me a little bit about previous versions and how you arrived here. Well, uh, this is spe uh, spe specifically a, a list I uh, switched from uh, a Palpatine mm -hmm. uh, from the um, a tourney, uh, the 24 hours tourney on Vassal last year. Okay. And yep. uh, I, I was a bit uh, impressed uh, of how it went. I, I win uh, the tourney with, uh, with an, an ISD, uh, Gazanti, and uh, that. Uh, not that kind of raider, the the H I E raider. Oh, one. yep. Uh -huh. um, and that in that time uh, we could have uh, only Ace uh, on uh, in our squad ball, but uh, uh, it was pretty brutal. And and I just realized that uh, adding JJ to that list was a big, big bid add up. So uh, I did that. I I made some few changes since. Uh, the, the superpower of uh, point of defense ion cannon mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> yeah and uh, I believe some not so much I, I kept uh, I kept a, a, a defense a defensive uh, point of view on the uh, ISD because uh, I realized that um, because early warning system is mostly not the one that we pick for an ISD. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. We we mostly want the, the e, uh, ECM or the um, or more uh, tr uh, traditionally the the um, the blast door just yep. to, to to gain some 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 uh, hold back but mm -hmm. uh, I realized that at until the end of the game uh, early warning system is almost better than uh, ECM since we don't have to deal with an, a, a repair token to uh, gain it back. And uh, because he can um, uh, secure some shield, uh, some some uh, some arc, you you, uh, you you remove a lot of dice until the end. So uh, after the game, you're kind of winner with with that uh, defense uh, upgrades. So. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And pair with Nida, mm -hmm. it's it's kind of super good because you you start the game uh, pretty f at long range um, when you're at long range of your opponent and they they attack you. You just evade a shot. You uh, remove a die uh, dice from from the shot. So you almost came in the in the middle of the fight like a brand new ship so mm -hmm. uh, I, f I find that it's very very good to uh, to make it sure that the, the isd survive yep so, that makes sense tell me a little bit about this raider here um i've i've seen <laughs> more and more often uh you know more people running raiders and Aiden makes them so good um you can keep them pretty cheap but i don't think i've ever seen one instigator with the Aiden black dice build so tell me a little bit about that yeah, people absolutely prefer uh, Corvus. Yeah, just f for uh, uh, the advantage of uh, uh, the 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 start of the game, and mm -hmm. then put it where you want, and uh, the squadron can be in the in the middle, and then that's it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I really prefer the Instigator one because uh, that build is uh, a, a lot acts on the the squadron, uh, the the dogfight of the squadron. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I realized that this raider is almost the perfect weapon against uh, the, the squadron, and with that ship, we we, we can we can very easily uh, knock the the strategy of the uh, the opponent. So um, 
is very not often that I, I can use it, but he is always a good, um, as we can say, a, a, a kind of a pressure. A like a deterrent pressure. kind of thing. Yeah. Make your opponent yeah. think about it and deal with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you know that he is there and then uh, I I often win against Moralo because of Instigator, in fact. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a very good counter to Moralo. Right? That's a good point, yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. And who like Morello? Yes. So. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. I was unfortunate yeah. to have to face him in pods. Not fun at all. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> anywho, speaking of pods, um, tell me a little bit about yours. We've got all the lists here. Um, we don't have to go into too much detail about each game, but mm -hmm. just looking at your pod, was there anyone when you first got it that you were worried about? Uh, actually, and I, I want to say that in all due respect for my 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 opponent of the of the pod, mm -hmm. uh, not really. Sure. Because yeah, uh, and I, I do appreciate the 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 strategy and the game I, I played against. But uh, my list is super good to uh, to be able to face most of the kind of list. And uh, like we can see the the TF right here. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the the squad ball is very small. I can yep. uh, my, my list can uh, wipe that very easily, and then uh, with uh, JJ I can just eat uh, some of the, the 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 little or big target and then fly away. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I, I played against uh, uh, Johto, I I I didn't want it to be to have a big win, so I, I just played for fun, as I can say, and I I goes a bit more like. Um, uh, all in <laughs> than yeah. uh, uh, a, a secure win to play for a secure win. So uh, I offer my my ISD uh, and he fall down and I I still uh, win because the squadron eat the recusant and I I also get uh, uh, I think I get everything except one or two. Okay. But yeah, uh, <laughs> it that's was a pretty a, good was trade. A good yeah. Game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So this was, and when looking at your pod, this was the one I thought may give you a little problems because he's got four ships that he can kind of point at the ISD. But you bring up a good point of, you know, four Tri-Fighters, no RHDs. That kind of melts fast. Yeah, and my list have a, a, a bit of four points. So mm -hmm. it's 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 always easier to, to play uh, Sagan when, uh, when you can. And it... Uh, with the the, the pass token, I could I could wait until the good moment to uh, to play last and uh, jump jump where I, I need with all my uh, alpha strike of the squadron yep. and uh, do some very good damage and just uh, place my ship perfectly where I need it to to suffer the least uh, damage. So mm -hmm. uh, that helped a lot. That yep. really helped a lot to sure. <laughs> to decide if you can be uh, first or, or second. Yep. And yeah. Then this game right here, um, kind of a, I don't want to call it a meme list because I think that's disrespectful to, you know, how good these players are, but, mm -hmm. you know, kind of, kind of an odd list. You've got Moralo with, you know, basically no squad cover, three gladiators yeah. and Palpatine. Uh, how'd this game go for you? Uh, well, uh, actually Moralo did more than I expect. Okay. Uh, I think he, he killed, uh, two squadron. Mm -hmm. And I, I wipe them all. But uh, uh, yeah, that list in close range and yeah, and the the way he played it, it, it wasn't very uh, dangerous because I I could always put my my ship uh, in a, in a in medium range at least. Yeah. And I yeah I didn't have that much problem. And uh, in fact, my, my list can be scary enough. So he wasn't very aggressive. So he try he try some approach, but he mostly fly away after that. Yep, that yeah. makes sense. And then the uh, the last one here, um, a bit of a you know Ozel MSU basically, uh, which is an archetype that I think has gotten better. Um, but mm -hmm. he had interesting mix of squadrons here, and this is a very fat Raider two right there. Um, yeah. How was how was this game for you? Just real quick. Uh, it was a fun game because I, I I played him last and I already knew that I would be able to be in the the Swiss and uh -huh. when uh, when I knew that it's it's more a a, play, a game that I play for fun and 
I because I, I know him a bit more than the two other. Mm -hmm. I I I try to 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 play more casual than uh, competitively, mm -hmm. and I. I kind of go very rem uh, <laughs> I rampage him okay. uh, a lot, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I I maybe I split a little bit too much my my attack here and there, and in, it end up in, with uh, with a very small win actually. But uh, it was a very cool game in which I I I failed to kill the 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 architect, but at some point uh, I think it was only. Like round two, at the end of the round two, it, it was, it was, it was pretty cool. All my my VSD was in a super aggressive mode, and mm -hmm. <laughs> it was the, the the big panic on the side of uh, me. But uh, uh, the the game was was very great. Yeah. Good, good. So you won your pod, and then um, we'll just go through the Swiss pretty quick because I want to yes. want to get to the final two games. Um, Round one of Swiss looks like you played Wack, uh, Walker. Yes, um, Walker. Uh, he had a very good, uh, very good bail, I believe. Uh -huh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was a uh, in which I, I, I mostly played the the, the secure guy. I I didn't wanted to uh, to go too aggressive and try to get the Venator because that kind of Venator can can stay uh, often a bit longer than you expect. So mm -hmm. I go for the, the the easy win. I. I, I used JJ to get out of the front uh, of the Venator with mm -hmm. the, the ISD. I played uh, Sagan again, and uh, I get a little bit lucky on range of squadron movement. And I uh, have to be honest uh, about that. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> we, yeah. And uh, uh, also, Instigator did a good job to, to lock some squadron at some point. He split his squad balls, so uh, I could be uh, able to. Um, to 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 eat some very good target the the Jedi which mm -hmm. which one there's the the one that he can uh, burn a uh, a brace to gain back uh, uh, some, Kit Fisto uh, I think yeah Kit Fisto what a mess to kill uh, but uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I got good uh, good dice against him and he he really fall he fall very quickly so um, I just hit the two uh, consular and mini squadron and then I, I get the win like that okay. Got it. Yeah. Uh, your second game was uh, in Swiss was one I was very excited about. Uh, you yeah. versus Ewok, and I've already I've already talked to Ewok about this. Um, he and I play every once in a while, so I've already heard his opinion mm -hmm. on this game. But tell me what it was like from your perspective. Ah uh, man, I was I was I, I was afraid. Okay. <laughs> of yeah. Ewok. Ewok. Uh, that that Akbar list is, in my opinion, probably the best Akbar. Uh, that we can find mm -hmm. it's it with the with the super big bid that he uh, very often used to be second it's so so hard to 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 find to to grab some some point and not die because of the uh, super good uh, 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 attack that he can throw at you mm -hmm. so um i i knew that my list was a problem for for his because uh if he took second i i could have take one of the 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 best um the best mission for me and just grab some little some little point and probably win uh, at best with a 7-4 mm -hmm. so uh it was very hard for him to uh, to win in that scenario so he had to take first and when that guy take <laughs> take first against you it's just just right there you 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 can be proud of you because you he, you you arrive with a list that can probably beat that mm -hmm. <laughs> that Akbar sure. and he and for that reason he, he had to play to uh, uh, to try to to, to get uh, my uh, ISD to get my uh, my stuff um, stuff down and I was a bit too uh, I was a bit too good uh, on my dice I uh, have to admit I mm -hmm. really have I really had good dice and uh, it came out very very well it was a super super intense game uh very good play for for himself and uh, again uh Jajara did some very good uh, maneuver because uh, uh, at some point the the reader really had to do a a, a huge u-turn because <laughs> it was mm -hmm. just a no go to to fall in the to fall in the the uh the kill box because that that 
that range of the 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 Corvette is just so big and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and <laughs> so I end up uh, winning a nine two against him and mm -hmm. I really didn't expect that and seriously it's a, a big part of the, the 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 good dice I got because otherwise it would have been nothing more than a seven four and yep. uh, yeah yeah. It's uh, it's hard to call it an upset because you're you know such a good and well known player. But he, uh, I think he was probably one of the favorites, and so getting a nine two in that game is pretty nuts. Yeah, and and in fact, he is a good friend of mine, and I was a bit disappointed to to give a nine two to a, to a friend. So mm -hmm. I yeah yeah I was happy and sad in the same time. So, sure. Yep. Yeah. That I mean that's what happens when you're friends with top players. You play them a lot anyway so sometimes yeah. you just gotta say sorry but i need the points a <laughs> uh, yeah, lot of drama in the tourney <laughs> yes yes um round three uh was against unskilled first officer just you know yeah. any key points from that game you want to touch on well uh again unskilled first officer is a very very good friend of mine mm -hmm. we spoke a lot together we we talk a lot about uh, strategy and we we even plan our uh, uh, matchup together very often so uh, facing him was a big disappointment mm -hmm. and he, he did what he had to do he stay uh, super keggy and yeah. it end in a very nice uh, squad battle and nothing else could could get down and uh, I got uh, six five and yeah, that was mm -hmm. about it. Yep, he's uh, he's always a player that I've enjoyed playing against in our games. So ah uh, yeah, very he good is. opponent. <laughs> uh, yeah. Then your last game against uh, Severus Snape, who I don't think I've mm -hmm. ever played against. Um, any key points from that game? Uh, it was a, again a good matchup for me. Um, I. I th yeah, I I was first, and I had the advantage of being able to uh, to 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 kill uh, uh, in one shot some of his target, and mm -hmm. he he had a good strategy, but uh, my ISD was a bit too strong to get down easily, and my squad ball was a lot stronger than his, so it turns not very well for him. Mm -hmm. And I end with a little 7-4 after all. Mm -hmm. And that yeah. moved you up into fourth place overall. And let me drag this yeah. over here. The top four. Mm -hmm. And um, the one, one, the game I want to spend the most time on, uh, we'll, we'll get to the championship, but this mm -hmm. game against Broba, uh, I want to kind of set the stage. So he... He comes out on fire. You know, Broba did. Mm -hmm. He was just dominant mm -hmm. in all of Swiss. Number one seed. He was. He was getting ten ones, nine twos, like crazy. Um, that was a list that he uh, took to LVO. Very similar to that, but with a few key differences. One of which being Corvus, um, which mm -hmm. I don't know if that played a factor in your guys' game at all. But all that to say, he came in as one of the favorites. Um, I think most of us were. Uh, you know, probably rooting for you just because uh, I don't think that uh, Sloan is someone <laughs> people want to see win very much, but maybe that's just me. But uh, definitely a game that I thought could give you some problems. Um, mm -hmm. Before we jump over to how you saw it, um, one moment I want to talk a lot about in this game was when he brought the Onager, I think it was round two, very aggressively into the middle of the board. Um, did you see that coming? How did you adapt oh, to that? What happened there? I I was so surprised. In fact, it was turn one. Turn one. Turn okay. one that he, yes, turn one. I, I even didn't move before <laughs> my SD before he moved that. He moved his um, his Oniger and uh, yeah, I think he forgot that I was um, Jerjerod because I could. I could easily uh, jump just on the side of the initial arc, so uh, I was a little bit surprised, but I think he did that to be sure to uh, be able to boost uh, with uh, his engine tech and fly away. Hmm. Um, but uh, no, not at all. I was more uh, uh, waiting that he, he would stay uh, something like speed zero and jump uh, uh, jump uh, full speed at the good moment to try to, to fly away. And I I think um, I was very worried about that matchup, and mm -hmm. since the beginning of the tournée, it was the the, the matchup that I, 
I really wanted to face because I knew that my lists, uh, compared to a lot of the other lists of the uh, Vassal uh, World Cup, mm -hmm. was probably able to to beat him. Uh, and as you said, uh, uh, Sloniger, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not the, the most uh, beloved list. Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> in in a tourney, so uh, I was the uh, I, w I wanted to be the one to 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 save the, <laughs> the, the honor. Or, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Um, like uh, I want, I wanted to take the bullet <laughs> from uh -huh. Robert Fett, and uh, it turned well because I, th I, I was able to deploy uh, my ISD last mm -hmm. because I, I took Sagan, and uh, he really wanted to be uh, to be first, uh, if to to be Sagan too, but. Uh, Bean Sagan was a very good, uh, uh, was not very good, but I mean, it was mandatory. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. Uh, because uh, played the strategy of uh, uh, a Sloan list uh, and uh, it, it can be, it can turn very, very fast because I, I saw him playing uh, against um, um, mul multiple uh, lists with a lot of squadron and he, he almost wiped the, the the whole squad ball in in just two two turns so mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> it's, it's super brutal and um i played my my squadron uh in a very defensive way to to be sure that he, he could not uh, do an alpha strike uh, mm -hmm. and and remove many uh most of them but uh i think i i was a little bit lucky uh, in the way how he, he deploy and and he, he he offered me uh, a very nice uh, fork. Yes. And uh -huh. I, I could uh, fork the the, the Onager and the um, the the Raider, the the lifeboat. Uh -huh. So he he decided to um, <clears throat> to save the lifeboat and uh, to try to uh, to tank all my shot uh, on the uh, Onager. But uh, I had some very good dice uh, again and. Mm -hmm. I blew the Onigiri uh, at that moment, and it was the <laughs> it was it was a seal deal uh, at that moment. Yep. So that's uh, a two. Yeah, the two things I want to touch on. Number one, um, it seemed like the way you played defensively. He he never alphaed. He kept his squads pretty close because you had yours kind of right up and even sometimes behind the ISD. So you're mm -hmm. providing flak support. You've got PDX if he jumps on you and EWS, and then you can mm -hmm. kind of counter alpha him if he goes in. So I think that's probably part of what made him play safe. Um, so, you know, kudos to your defensive posture there. And then yeah, the other thanks. thing you mentioned, the fork, I think we were all surprised when he kind of turned the Raider in a bit because, mm -hmm. you know, I think a lot of us, our eyes lit up. It's like, wow, you know, the ISD could get to a point where you're double arcing the onager and seriously threatening that raider, like you talk about the fork. Yeah, but he played the the, the raider first that that uh, that round, and mm -hmm. after that he um, did he play that first? I'm not sure. I think he had to because I think he turned it in towards you instead of going around the outside, and then you put down the ISD. Where you were threatening both, and I think, oh, you, like yeah. you said earlier, he had to go with the raider, and then mm -hmm. he lost the onager. Yeah, so uh, at that moment, it was, yeah, uh, I I didn't really understand how he, he deployed because he normally a, a raider like that you you want it safe mm -hmm. and almost uh, out of the of the game because he is way too important. Sloan Sloanless without Sloan, it's it's not good anymore so mm -hmm. uh, yeah that that game was uh, wasn't like I expected and he, of course I I, I I spoke with him after that and he, he was disappointed in his uh, uh, in the way he, he played but mm -hmm. and also yes the the way I I, I, I goes I go very different uh, differently. With my my squadron, it didn't allow him to do something well with his uh, uh, quasars. So, he, yeah, the 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 plan, all his plan, just fall, and yeah, it wasn't something that he can be proud. Mm -hmm. so, sure. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it it wasn't a typical Robuffet uh, game. Yep. For sure. Mm. 
So then, uh, Sam versus Paul, were you able to watch that game? Uh, yes. Yes, I... I, I oh man, that shot on the, <laughs> on the victory. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I was sure... I was sure Paula had a very good list to, to be able to face and to be uh, tank, tanky enough to, to, to survive to all those blasts, but... He Sam played very well and got a little bit of luck in that very good shot and the IS, the VA, VSD uh, could not survive and mm -hmm. it was it it was it <laughs> he he failed there but yeah uh, it was a good game it was a good game and the the the, the luck of Paul wasn't very there and yeah yeah yep and so that sets up then <laughs> you versus Sam which I think. Mm -hmm ended up being maybe the best game of the whole tournament definitely one of the closest <laughs> i think it might be the closest finals we've ever had or one of mm -hmm. at least very close to it um a couple questions to get us started with this game and i don't i don't want to spend too much time on it i'm sure you know this game's going to be analyzed and stuff everyone's got the log file uh, mm -hmm. but it's a list that i um i you know it's been kind of infamous his list right he's won at SoCal, yeah. he won at LVO, um, and he's, he's been dominating with the list. It's kind of the one a lot of people were scared of. And so mm -hmm. going into the game, before you know any dice had been rolled, before you deployed, anything like that, what was your plan to try to tackle him? Well, I, I knew, uh, of course, his objective, and mm -hmm. uh, I knew that uh, I could only take Doom Station. Mm -hmm. Because uh, surprise attack is by far the worst thing you can do to to, to face them mm -hmm. if you don't have a, a surprise uh, anti surprise attack uh, plan. Yep. And uh, abandon mining facility was also uh, impossible for me to uh, to take. So uh, I end up being uh, playing Doom Doom Station, and um, I I knew that to be at to be aggressive enough, I had to deploy my ISD to uh, to allow my fire spread to be uh, close enough of the uh, of the the, the sh uh, sh some ship. Mm -hmm. So I I had to gauge the distance of the the Onager after the Ozel and the Cataclysm to uh, to be sure of not taking the first shot. Mm -hmm. So yep. that's that's the reason why I put my ships so far, and in a in a weird way mm -hmm. <laughs> like that, and enough close of my Gazancy to receive the navigate uh, token, so I could start uh, nav two, uh, a speed two at the first roll. Yep. Because I was in the gravwell uh, range. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so then and, um, this game, yes. I it kind of got. Uh, Everything seemed to kind of happen, you know, kind of in the middle towards the bottom, and all you guys got your ships all mixed together, uh, ran around round three and round four, and um, I have to imagine that was probably the most tense part of the game. You know, oh, <laughs> trying to dis trying to you know, hoping the dice are still hot, and uh, obviously he's got yeah. all those re rolls that he gets on his attacks and while he's defending. Uh, mm -hmm. so walk me through Oof. kind of what you were thinking mid game there. Man, I I was thinking of being able to wipe the the Onager soon enough to to survive and fly away, but mm -hmm. I I rewatched the game and I realized that oh man, I I just I went uh, all in, in in his uh, kill box mm -hmm. and tried to tank a lot, uh, work almost work. Uh, in fact, I realized that I could have done a better. Uh, a better fly after killing the the uh, the Onager and by putting my uh, early warning system at my back and then just JJ on a weird way to 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 get get away of the um, of the the medium range of the uh, Dictor at the top the the one uh, without uh, Vidor the mm -hmm. leader one yep and the one that killed <laughs> the ISD, to, uh -huh. be, uh, to be honest. And if I would have done that, uh, I would have to uh, to think uh, three die shot my rear um, because of our winning system, and I could have easily survived way more to that than 
the 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 maneuver I did. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the the real thing I should have done, in fact, it it's to to just be sure to wipe the targeting strambler dictor uh -huh. and then fly out of the initial arc and just take it easy and try to kill the the Onager by a squadron and with the raider and some long uh, some long attack from the ISD and grabbing the station and just fly away or are continuing to harass the Onager by the rear with the super ability of JJ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's not what happened, and I'm super happy for Sam because he is an amazing player with a very aggressive list, mm -hmm. very, <laughs> very good list, in fact. And yeah, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I think it was a, such a well played game. Uh, I was uh, a good friend of mine who I've played Armada with for years, Taserface. We were talking mm -hmm. the whole game while we were watching it, and we both kind of determined it seemed like you didn't make very mis many mistakes at all, maybe a couple here and there, but you played almost as well as you could have played, and it came mm -hmm. down to just 20 points. But, yeah, um, I mean, it was such a great spectacle to watch. Uh, it was, you know, very well played by both of you. Um, mm -hmm. So to wrap up, uh, the interview. I got a couple uh, questions, just more generally. Um, right. Number one, in regards to your fleet, um, in your squad ball, tell me, um, without not Jenden and not Merrick. So, who besides these two do you think was the MVP of your squad ball? Who did the most work? Who were you happiest that you had? You know, out of the rest of these. Ah oh, man, Tell is a wonderful squadron. Mm. It's amazing. I, I think uh, against Broba Fett, Tell took uh, almost uh, a whole activation of the squadron shot mm. just on him with mm -hmm. some some luck because uh, one big shot didn't get the accuracy. Mm -hmm. uh, but wow, that guy is so good. And uh, of course, Saber is it's amazing. It's, mm -hmm. it's only 12 point. Why did you didn't put it in your your squad ball it's just so good mm -hmm. and um now the fire spray are the best bomber of the the whole uh, faction because the the blue blue uh, blue die are the best now because of the pdic reroll uh-huh uh, black black ro uh, black die often is a waste of the double so when mm -hmm. you get the when, when you get blue die you don't really care about re-rolling it's not that bad but mm -hmm. it's it's almost certain that you're never gonna have a, a double sure by yep. being very lucky so I, so uh <laughs> tell was very amazing uh -huh. yeah. gotcha and then uh, i want to get your view on this so all four of the final four lists were imperial um mm -hmm. two of them had onagers uh two of them had isds um, yeah. So, do you think um, that Imperials are the strongest faction right now, or did it just happen to be that four of the best players in the world happen to be running Imperials and did well? Well, it's for sure Sloan is the best Admiral of the whole game. Mm -hmm. That's that's a fact, and I think that uh, PDIC is an upgrade that very helped uh, the the the. the uh, faction like uh, the one of Paul yep. and uh, a little bit mine too and why not the one of Sam Sam got uh, two PDIC too so mm -hmm. that that upgrade just push a little bit more the, the, the that faction on the top uh, I believe mm -hmm. and yeah yeah ISD are wonderful ship uh, Gerard is amazing Romudi it's a nonsense. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't. I don't like your Romudi, but <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, so whatever. Yep. And uh, and yeah, Sloan. We don't have to, to talk about it anymore. So yeah, yeah I, I think I think that faction is a little bit too much on the top. Okay. Have to be fixed because it's. I think it's just normal that uh, most of the uh, most of the, the top faction uh, top top player end up with. Uh, with the faction of uh, Imperial. Mm -hmm. 
it was a similar story at LVO as well. I'm interested to see what happens at Adepticon um, mm-hmm. and all the rest of the major tournaments to see if we still keep having Imperial dominance or not. Yeah. Um, yeah. One last question. But what are your... Oh, you go ahead. Sorry. No, but it's, it's just about the fact that the two new factions still have a little lack of uh, diversity. And mm-hmm. it, it's... Yes, TF is good. It's strong. But... It's kind of n- niche in in a meta. It's uh, it can face everything like that. N- not like the, the the fleet I I, I bring because uh, you, when it, when you play a, f- uh, a TF you, you can have a good response to a squad ball like that and and yeah it's it's more balanced in the two uh, old faction so mm-hmm. you can you can have a better diversity and yeah. Sure. And the Gazanti and Flotilla, the Flotilla yes. are uh-huh. so good. <laughs> yeah, very true. So then, last yeah. last question before we wrap up: um, What mm-hmm. does the future look like for you? Uh, are you going to keep playing this list or something similar? And are you planning on well, attending any major tournaments coming up? I I wanted to to put it uh, in the closet mm-hmm. <laughs> because I find I don't like uh, lists that uh, are too strong, and I consider that that list is a little bit too strong now. Okay. And yeah, because it's it's a for me it's a game based on maneuver and JJ is just amazingly too good. Mm-hmm. So uh, I I sometimes I face uh, an opponent with that list and I just see perfectly how I can manage to 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 fly out of the the trouble and it's kind of too easy so mm-hmm. i'm i think perhaps i will give it a, another shot in the future but i really want to to try the, the two new faction for uh to to know them a bit more because i fuck I, I focus a little bit more on the old one and i think the new one can have a lot of uh, potential too so um yeah but mm-hmm. you know playing in a, a a long tourney like that it's a little bit exhausting sure and it's uh it's so tense that sometimes <laughs> i woke up during the night with a little bit of anxiety <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. and, and as i said it's all constant drama because uh sam is a very good friend uh also so as it was always playing with, against good friends and ruining their day or <laughs> yeah <laughs> and and oh man i i really like that i i really like to have a good tournament like that but that part of the tournament <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> because we we end up knowing each other very well and yeah it's you, you have to be made for uh, competitive and I don't think I'm that much in a competitive uh, mindset <laughs> <laughs> sure yeah so uh, I at, at, at the point I I was more taking for Sam than for me so <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah uh, yeah well <laughs> well thank you so much like I said for taking the time um, I'm sure that uh, people are very interested to hear your perspective uh, to the viewers out there thank you guys very much for watching And I'll uh, catch you in a future video. Thanks. Yes. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. Okay.